Hello, hello! Today we will start moving out of the old house. That's a serious decision for me, but I guess the time has come. So what I did so far is built a railway... Well, not really a railway, just a piece of track. Um, with no carriage on it. With no minecart on it. But we have a second mm. nether portal that will take us to the new place. Yes, just don't tell Adam. It's supposed to be a bit of a secret. Yeah, and I built a nether portal one block bigger than it's supposed to be, because why not? I'm not sure what I am going to build. It will probably wind up looking something like Saruman's Star. No, it won't. Definitely I will start with a circular base of some sort. So, of course, what I did was look up online pixel circle chart. Apparently plenty of people had this idea before me, and here's what I found. There are, for example, circles like that, and I think 16 would have enough room for my humble self inside that tower. So I printed one of these for my reference when I'm when I'll be laying blocks. I like this one. This one is the only one that doesn't have a circle in it, and it's a cat. Oh, cool! So that's a tool at donutstudios.com. I can see in the URL above where you can build your own with. Or you can make an ellipse. For circle block count, I uncheck this and it becomes elliptic. Cool. Okay, cool. Now. You can choose thickness. Or fill. Okay, cool. I think thin is enough for us. And 16, as this is a beautiful number for any computer. 16 sounds like something that I'd, do, I'd go ahead with. This would be the base. Now, if we look at the, at the base from the side, it will probably look like... Where well, there's the tower. Let let me just do one side. So that's the tower somehow. And it could have some sort of pylons to go like this. Hmm, no more substance here I guess. And in the middle of the tower there would be some sort of glowing ball, you know, like an, the eye of Sauron or something like that. So first I would need to draw this on a sheet of paper with grid. To see, you know, how, how many blocks which way. And then I would have to place it on either of the corners. One way or another I would have to wind up with four of these pylons because 3 would be at awkward angles and I'm not ready to calculate it yet. The tower will go probably like that to meet the curve. And then it will end like this to to host that, that glowing ball. These pylons should somehow pretend to, to hold it up in the air, like with magnetic field or some, s some other sort of invisible force. Yeah. Okay, I'll keep thinking about it. But what I really should do is have a look at the landscape to them. 
I'm dealing with. Okay, there's another idea that crossed my mind. is some sort of dome, at least to finish finish the base, the c to cap the base, or maybe to contain the glowing orb, whatever. For that, I would be also using the same mechanism. So, for this, I would have to slice this circle in half, cut it in twain. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and uh, sixteen. So this is a sixteen circle. This would be the base of our dome. I would use the same circle as the first layer. The second is the same, sixteen. Sixteen. The next would be fourteen, right? Because it's minus one here, minus one on the other side, so it's fourteen. Fourteen. This one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Definitely twelve. I'm just double checking because I think I can easily trick myself into false sense of security when it comes to maths. Ten eight six four two. So these would be the circles that I would be using to construct a dome structure. That would be pretty cool, but if we're thinking of the flaming ball of lava... I keep thinking lava. I think I'll wind up with lava. Very dangerous material, building material to work with. That would have to be no more than 6 in diameter. Okay, let's delete this. Let's decrease our circle to six. Right, that's not much of a circle, is it? Hmm. Okay, so the way I I understand the circle is well, what's what's a circle? It's something like that. I would probably use this block here, this block here, this here, this here, remove this one. So I would wind up with a circle effectively like that. Yeah, that's, that's probably more spherical, circular than, than its predecessor here. Another pretty cool tool I found is a voxel shape generator. I will place the link to both of these tools in the description. Okay, now we have sphere, dome, cone, um, and below we have actual cross section on what will will be needed for each of the levels. It's pretty cool. Oh, it can be hollow. Fantastic. Vizier curve tool is nice at designing weird shapes like the one I was I was thinking about. So the base of the tower will be wide. At least sixteen blocks. Actually not at least. Sixteen blocks definitely. Something like that, perhaps? Yeah. I wish I could add more points to the curve. Hey, that's actually pretty cool! Huh! Okay, let's see, that's 16 circle. That's 14 circle, I think. 12. Okay, cool. I, I can work with that. Okay, so as it's dark night and full of terrors, it's time to start building our base. Oh. Uh, hi Adam, I guess the base is no longer a secret. Uh, 
Yeah. Ranged weapons for the win. Yeah. That's fish. All right, let's keep building. So what what I'll do is first build a 16 diameter circle, and then we'll think. Dude, really should put something on. Okay, next step, I will f build a circle. I guess fill them, fill it in with different color, and it's a nice sunrise. I guess it's a good spot for the base. I hope these hills won't be destroyed by industry. For now, the base seems to be looking like some sort of flames. It's not entirely the, the effect I intended, but uh, we'll let it take us where it wants to. Um, it does seem to be quite small, and the space inside is cramped. It's difficult to build stairs. Uh, Green had a couple of ideas about uh, circular uh, staircases that that are circle based, but uh, they are all slabs, slab based, and I really want to save space. Probably in the future it will be, it will be a water elevator anyway. Um, for now, stairs, and probably time to start building the first floor. So this is it for today. I guess I'll be building first floor. And we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching. Bye!